welcome back for another video on the best YouTube channel ever. Today's video will be about a Fresno Bulldog gang couple named Johnny Garcia and Christy Flores. On November 19, 2020, at approximately 11 a.m., officers from the Tulare Police Department responded to an emergency call about a shooting at the Hampton Inn. Following an investigation, officers determined that the following events had transpired. Johnny Garcia and Christy Flores, a married couple from Fresno, were staying at the Hampton Inn in Tulare while on vacation. Garcia is an admitted member of the Mackenzie Street Bulldog Gang, which is a subset of the Fresno Bulldogs Criminal Street Gang. Flores has a documented history of associating with gang members. She had previously been involved in gang-related crimes and she had gang-related tattoos. At approximately 11.02 a.m., Garcia was working out in the hotel gym when two individuals, only referred to as L.A. and G.J., approached the hotel from the parking lot. The parking lot of the hotel is visible through the hotel's gym. G.J. was wearing a red 49ers t-shirt and L.A. was wearing a red hat. G.J. was associated with the Norteña or Northern or Criminal Street Gang. Garcia signaled Flores to come down from their hotel room by sending her a selfie text message. Tulare County is considered enemy gang territory for Fresno Bulldog gang members. The Norteños are rivals of the Fresno Bulldogs. Garcia got into an elevator with L.A. and G.J., pulled out a gun, and shot them both. When the elevator doors opened, Garcia chased G.J. until G.J. was able to escape to safety. Garcia appeared to have a heavy object swing in his pocket as he ran, and he was holding unidentified objects in his left hand. L.A. ran into the hallway of the hotel. Shortly thereafter, Garcia ran back inside the lobby of the hotel, holding a gray sweater and an unknown object. Once inside, he walked calmly back to the elevators where he met Flores. Garcia and Flores rode up in the elevators together. Two or three minutes after the shooting, hotel surveillance video depicted Flores leaving the hotel, carrying her purse and a plastic bag. Flores walked to the back of the hotel, around the pool, into her car. A few minutes later, she drove away. Police found a spent shell case along the same route taken by Flores. No bullet casings were found in the elevator where the shooting occurred. Flores later returned to the hotel to collect her belongings. Investigating officers searched her vehicle and found the gray sweater that Garcia appeared to be holding shortly after the shooting. Subsequent testing showed that the sweater had gunshot residue particles on it. Following her arrest, police searched Flores' person and found a glass pipe commonly used for smoking meth in her bra. The shell casing found along the path taken by Flores, a bullet fragment recovered from G.J.'s shoulder, as well as a mushroom bullet lodged in the interior of the hotel, could all have been fired from the same gun. The gun used in the shooting was never recovered. Garcia was convicted of pulling the trigger, while Flores was convicted of being accessory after the fact. A jury convicted Garcia of two counts of attempted murder with a special allegations that he personally used a firearm causing great bodily injury, that he engaged in multiple acts of street terrorism, and that he possesses a prior felony conviction from 2004, carjacking, robbery, and assault with a firearm. In addition, he was convicted of possession of a controlled substance, heroin, with a firearm and being a felon in possession of a firearm and ammunition. Flores was convicted of two counts of accessory after the fact with the special allegation of engaging in street terrorism and possessing a smoking device. Johnny Garcia was sentenced to 86 years and four months to life in prison. Christy Flores was sentenced to five years in state prison.